Esquire magazine calls it one of the 50 things no man should be without this year. Shaq Shackelford has the hot product made right in Tulsa around town. We bring modern style to old school craftsmanship. This is Tim Pasley's woodshop. Not the typical place to create bow ties, unless it's made of wood. You know, I was just in the shop one day, messing around with a bunch of other things, and uh, it just kind of came to me. He and his business partner started Two Guys Bow Ties in November of last year, and had 700 orders by Christmas. Then a feature in January's Esquire. Two Guys Bow Ties, knock on wood, may be the next big thing. The secret is creating a thin piece of handcrafted wood. That's the craft of it, is that it, you know, if you had just a big chunky piece of wood, if it was heavy, it wouldn't be comfortable, you wouldn't want to wear it. So. I see a two by four <laughs> stuck to some guy's neck and kind of walk Exactly, no, no one would wear it. Some are laser embossed to create a plaid or chevron design. They also custom design. It's kind of just a wood piece, still do a fabric centerpiece, have a straps so it's easily put on, but it just makes a statement and, and stands out. The greatest thing to me, you don't have to learn to tie them. Be on the lookout later this year for matching wooden cufflinks. The river trail is a bit deserted on a cold January day when it's in the 20s. Nobody's out walking their dog, and sometimes the dogs, just like the humans, can get the wintertime blues. Brian Walters of Camp Bow Wow says if your dog has the blues, not this kind, there are simple things you can do. Get them in the sunlight. At our house, you know, we like to open up the blinds and let the light in, and, and it's really interesting because our dogs will just flock to that light. Hey, Midgey, how come Walter's got such an underbite? Or put them in the car for a drive. Also, lighten up on the food portions and buy interactive toys. You guys do not have the wintertime blues, do you? For the list, I'm Shaq Shackelford.